Scaling databases and maintaining strong consistency can be tricky, especially in a distributed environment. So if you're looking for a solution that handles both, TiDB might be what you need. Let's break it down. All right, so what is TiDB? At its core, TiDB is an open source distributed SQL database. The cool part, it supports both transactional and analytical workloads, meaning it can handle both fast transactions and more complex data analysis all in one system. Plus, it's MySQL compatible. So if you're already using MySQL, you won't have to rewrite everything. It's basically a drop-in solution that scales much more easily. Now let's dig into some of TiDB's main features. First up, horizontal scalability. This means you can scale your database out by adding more nodes without any downtime. TiDB separates compute from storage. So if you need more storage or more compute power, you just add nodes. Your application doesn't even notice the change. It's all transparent. Then there's strong consistency. TiDB uses the RAF consensus algorithm, which ensures that data is consistent across multiple replicas. Basically, data is written to a majority of replicas before it's even committed. This means even if a node fails, your data is safe and consistent. Now, another key feature is actually HTAP capability, which stands for Hybrid Transactional and Analytical Processing. You see, TiDB uses two storage engines, TiKV for your standard row-based transactional data and TiFlash for columnar analytics. These two storage engines work together so your real-time data is always available for both transactions and analytics. It's all replicated in real-time as well between TiKV and TiFlash, so there's actually no lag. Next, TiDB is also cloud native. It's designed to run in distributed environments like the cloud, making it super flexible. So now you can scale across availability zones and even tolerate data center outages. And for those using Kubernetes, TiDB has a TiDB operator that automates cluster management. And if you're looking for an easy setup, there's TiDB Cloud, which gets you running with just a few clicks. And again, as I mentioned earlier, TiDB is fully compatible with MySQL. So if you've built your app using MySQL, migrating to TiDB doesn't require a massive rewrite. It supports the MySQL protocol and TiDB also offers a bunch of tools to help you migrate your data with minimal effort. Now, the most important question you probably want to answer to is, what kind of problems does TiDB actually solve? Well, let's look at a couple of examples. First up, financial systems. These systems need strong consistency, high availability, and of course, obviously, disaster recovery. Well, guess what? TiDB can replicate data across different locations, ensuring zero data loss and minimal downtime. It's great for meeting tight RPO and RTO requirements. Now, it's also built for massive data and high concurrency. If your app is scaling fast and you're running into bottlenecks with traditional databases, TiDB's architecture can handle it. It scales horizontally with support for up to 512 compute nodes and petabyte level storage capacity. And if you're running real-time analytics alongside your transactions, TiDB's HTAP feature really shines. I mean, TiKV can handle the transactional side while TiFlash processes analytics in real-time and without slowing anything down. So why use TiDB? If you need a database that can scale easily, maintain strong consistency across distributed systems, and handle both transactional and analytical workloads, TiDB is a solid choice. Plus, it's compatible again with MySQL, so migration is relatively painless. Anyway, if you're interested in trying TiDB, check out our documentation or jump into TiDB Cloud to get started for free. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all in the next one.